Were you a good student? I was a good student. Whenever I get interested in things, I get really interested in things. <laughs> Maybe you can tell. Um, but I, I tend to find things that strike my fancy and I will dive right in, want to know every single thing about them, become, I don't know, a resident expert. And you know, whatever content I can find, I will absorb. And I've always been like that, even as a kid. So when I had the opportunity to go back to school, but for fragrances, for one night only, I took up that opportunity. So that very kind sales associate from Saks, who probably uh, is wondering about me right now because I, I've asked her some, for some weird things and questions and background and uh, I don't know, this poor lady. Anyway, um, she offered me the opportunity to attend a Louboutin fragrance masterclass, which is basically just a sales pitch. And I, and I knew that going in, but again, I, it's fragrance content, I was into it. And if you recall, or if you've watched my prior Saks video, I did have three samples of Louboutin fragrances sent to me before in her original sample box that she sent my way. And I was really excited to try them. The packaging was neat. I was, I was very excited. Just, I mean, the presentation is beautiful, but none of those were a hit for me, um, either because they kind of felt generic, which is two out of three, or the, the longevity and the projection wasn't there for the price, which is substantial. So that's where I was prior to the masterclass, but I thought I would still sign up for masterclass and see what else is out there and hear directly from Louboutin and just get to know the brand a little bit more. And with that, they sent me something, which I didn't expect. I thought it was just gonna be a webinar, but it came with a really nice package that I'm gonna show you. And then we're gonna go through the class together. So you'll know what I know, and uh, maybe you'll find a hit somewhere in there. And you know, feel free to provide me some guidance too. I'll let you know where my head is um, after taking the masterclass as far as the product line. And I'm interested in your perspectives as well and in your experiences with Louboutin. But let me start with um, the package that I received from them. Okay, <laughs> uh, so here it is. It comes in this, it's very shoeboxy, very shiny. In fact, I've, unfortunately, you can already see my handprints. I've actually wiped it down a couple of times so you wouldn't see my fingerprints, but they're still there. Uh, but once again, Louboutin hits it out of the park in terms of their presentation. Everything looks very classy. This was a really exciting thing to open to me. Um, I, I don't get, you know, PR or anything like that. So this was just, um, you know, like get your textbooks for class, I guess, but, but way more fun. So when this arrived, you know, I sent the sales associate a big thank you. I said, this is really cool. I'm very excited about it. Um, so what is inside? All right. So the first thing, um, this piece of paper, I'm going to go through in a minute. This is for the class. <laughs> and it also included um, this pen. It's kind of a ridiculous pen. Honestly, I have very poor fine motor skills. I always have and my handwriting is awful. Maybe you'll see that when I show you my test. <laughs> my handwriting is awful. So a pen this skinny is really impractical for me. I hold it like a monkey that's just learning to use tools, but very skinny. Um, it's, it's a cool pen. It kind of, you know, it's, it's classy and modern in that way, but it's not a good pen for me. But as I said, that came with it. So you wouldn't have to go digging through your kitchen for a pen during class. It'd be distracting to the teacher. And then here's the inside of the box. All right, so here they are. Again, it's like velvety back here. This is shiny. And then you have these. And if, again, if you watch my sax one, the same exact um, type of samples that I got from my sax um, sales associate, but now just out in this nice shoebox. And there's more of them. So the original three that I tried are included in here. And now they also included um, the new um, lineup, not the intense. They did talk about the intense. So I'll show those two. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll show you the intense ones. Um, those aren't included in here, but the Lubacroc, Lubacrown, Lubadoo. Um, I'm missing one. I'll figure it out. Anyway, um, were included in the set along with Luba Kiss and Luba Rouge and Luba Funk, which I had already tried. And <laughs> they, I'll show you what they did. So in each of these, we've got these dabbers. I don't like the dabbers. It really makes it hard to smell the scents. But with each dabber, they hid the name and they give you a letter instead. And I peeked, I definitely peeked. So I did try them out before the class just to get familiar with them. Um, as I've discussed before, sometimes it takes me a little while to really get my nose around a fragrance, um, to let it settle, to pick out the notes. I, I'm a little slow learner in that respect. So I didn't wanna go into the class 
um, and then not be able to smell anything. So I did sample them beforehand and get familiar with them, but then I put the labels back on and, and took the class properly. But that's the presentation and what I received, as I, mean, I said, it looks great. Um, Louboutin really succeeds um, in terms of their presentation and their packaging and making things feel elevated and high class. And I think they pride themselves on that. So the class started out, we had, it was a webinar and we had a sales associate named Brad to introduce us to the brand. He talked about who Christian Louboutin is as an individual and then um, showed us some prep videos to introduce us to the vibe that they were going for, which really was uh, luxury, that was really number one, elegance, but also some creativity and some fun. And I'm not too familiar, I wasn't too familiar with Christian Louboutin as an individual, but he seems like, I wanna say weirdo in the best possible way. The same way that we're encountering these creative, passionate individuals, you know, within the fragrance community. I think he's one of us in that respect. Um, I don't think he's quite nailed fragrances yet. And that's what I've talked about in the past in terms of being uh, on the same level as some other fragrance houses. They're new to the game, but Christian Louboutin as an individual, he seems like an artist. He seems like somebody who is very passionate, very dreamy, and he pours that inspiration into his work, which includes his fragrances. Um, or at least that's how the sales pitch was <laughs> um, written. And I believe it, you know, just some of the things they've said about him and his dreams in particular are kind of off the wall again. And, and that's a compliment in a way that screams artist to me. So I thought it was, that, was, that was very endearing to me. You know, it, Christian Louboutin products are so expensive um, that I, you know, it's a little bit like, feels very corporate in that way. But to hear a little bit more about him, the artist, it did warm me up to the brand a little bit. And I'm sure that's what they were going for. So they talked about that. Um, they talked about how each of these scents is really based on a dream that Christian Louboutin had, and they're weird, <laughs> in a good way. Um, and they would show us a promotional video for each of them um, to get to know the fragrances. But before they really gave us specifics, because I said they labeled all the fragrances A through F, so you wouldn't know which ones you were trying unless you peeked, which I did. Um, they wanted you to take this test. And the test was kind of funny. So I'll go through the questions so you can take it with me. I wasn't allowed to um, take the recording. They did record it and I asked my sales associate, which probably really confused her, if I could have a copy of the recording. And she said that it was, you know, pr proprietary um, and they couldn't share it with me. So unfortunately I can't share it with you, but I will go through the questions and my answers um, with you. And then I will also include the link to the Luby World website where you can also take this test and see where you land. So let's, let's, I'll take it now and I'll show you what they did and what the questions were and what I picked and where I landed with that. Okay, pop quiz time, time to take the test. So this is just some narrative about the session itself. I'm not gonna bore you with it. It just basically talks about the packaging and um, what's in the box, <laughs> which you can see for yourself. So we're gonna go right to test side. See my, my terrible handwriting here, but I was an attentive student. So there were four questions. And for each of the questions that I'll go through, um, they would show you a picture, you would select your answer, and then they would go to a screen where they would tell you which ones to check off. So that's the piece I wish I could record, but I didn't. I can only tell you my choices and which ones I checked off for my choices. Um, and then, as I said, if you want to do this for yourself, if you pick th different things than I picked, um, I, I, you can follow the link in my description and go out to the website and take this exact test. So don't skip the video though. Stay, stick with me until the end and then you can take your test and see where you landed. Anyway, so the first question they asked was, what is your kind of Louboutin? And I'll put a picture of the shoes up. So you pick your shoe and this is pretty broad. So I picked uh, the stilettos. I do like heels. I wear heels, not, I wear heels casually. I wear them all the time. <laughs> I don't want to get off track. But anyway, even in quarantine, I like to dress up. And when I leave the house, I like to wear heels. So I, I picked the stilettos. And stilettos, you'll see that gave me like an across the board here. So for almost all of them, stilettos applied. And I guess that's because that's, um, you know, their signature thing there. But basically everything except for A and G, we will go through, um, applied to stilettos. Then they ask, what is your perfect dream? I'll bring that up. So for this one, I chose the travel. Um, they had, you know, the sensual there. And I, I feel like the travel, especially again through quarantine, I haven't really been out much. So that seemed like uh, the most fun one there. And that one gave me 
B, opulent journey. B, E, F, and G for opulent journey. I wrote that there, my terrible handwriting. Then they asked, what is your kind of fragrance? Which is funny because I get that question a lot when I go into like department stores, people will say, what kind of fragrance do you like? And my mind always goes blank and I'm always like, oh, what's perfume? I can't think, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> that question always takes me off guard. So I'm glad they got a pause here and let me think about it. I like all kinds of perfume. For the purpose of this quiz, I'll bring up the choices. I picked woody and spicy. You were allowed to pick more than one. I don't think they let you do that online though, but um, for this purpose, they let you pick more than one, which was good. And that really led to all of them except for A and B. And then the last question was, what illustration is the most appealing to you? And these illustrations are really just from uh, the, the website. So these are the ones that go along with the fragrances. So I guess they're just trying to grab your vibe there. And this was a little bit of a cheat for me because I was familiar with the bottles. I'd seen the artwork around the brand, so I, I knew which ones it would align with. Um, but I picked the pictures for, I'll put them up here. Um, for Luby Do, Luby Crown, and Luby Croc. I did like the pictures, so I, that's the ones I picked. Okay, so my test results are in. It's not a bad test. <laughs> that's the thing. It seemed like it's so off the wall questions. Um, you know, I, I think they had maybe two off the wall questions and then maybe two questions that were close enough to picking a fragrance that they were relevant, honestly, because when I got my results, it matched up fairly well to the ones that I was was inclined to like. And I didn't really cheat. I really just, you know, I took the test um, as intended to. Um, so I didn't get any match up at all with Luba Funk, which if you watch my Saks video, I don't like Luba Funk. Um, I just thought it was underwhelming. It has a name, Luba Funk, that you think it's gonna be really eccentric and, you know, funky. And it's not, and I still, I really struggle. It's, it's vaguely fruity but I still really struggle to pick up notes with Lubifunk. So I didn't match with it. And it's like, okay, well, you're right, Lubiton. It's not a match for me. <laughs> um, the second least matchy one for me, um, which was funny. Okay, so I've got two of them. It was Lubikiss. Um, Lubikiss was the tuberose. Let's be right, no, let's see. Um, it's a tuberose jasmine. And I had said that I like tuberose and jasmine, but this particular one was nothing special. I have had other tuberose jasmine scents I like better. So it was actually a miss for me when I did my reviews. And then, but I was surprised because Luba Rouge, which is the one I was leaning toward, that one I also got two, I only matched up with it twice, um, Luba Rouge. And I do like Luba Rouge. So I thought it would rank a little bit higher, um, but it didn't, I only got two. All right, so um, I just breezed through those three because first of all, I didn't match with them. And secondly, because I've already reviewed them, so feel free to check out the Saks video if you want more detail on those scents. Um, but I'm gonna spend more time on the new ones because I've never reviewed those for you before, so I'm gonna talk about where I landed on my test results, but I also will review those samples for you as well um, if you also um, haven't tried them yet and are interested in them. So the one, the first one that I matched with-ish is Lubidoo. This is the one with the really cute cat and the lipstick. Um, I'll put a picture of the bottle up. And um, I did like this one. It's a strawberry. It's got a strawberry kick to it. I don't, that's a note that I don't have a lot of in my collection. Um, and I thought it was, it matched the bottle and I thought it smelled nice. Yeah, it has a sweetness to it. That sweet strawberry fruitiness, uh, a little young feeling. You know, I think that's again, what they were kind of going for. There is some youthfulness to it. Uh, but in an upscale fancy way the it's a maybe i think it's a nice scent i think again i don't have a lot of strawberry i'll talk about my concerns with louboutin generally at, after i review all of these for you but um, if you like um, strawberry scents this might be one that you can at least check out and get a sample of and see if it's a good fit for you um, it's a fresh one i think it's crowd pleasing um, pleasant scent it's just not a game changer in any way. It didn't knock my socks off. And the projection and the longevity is really along the lines of the other Louboutins that I've tried so far. Um, I'll also, as a reminder, these are dabber um, samples and it does make it a little trickier to douse yourself in it and get a really good vibe for that. So, you know, I, I, I poured it on my wrist, you know, I gave it a, the, the best possible shot here, um, but I just don't find that I can smell them, you know, even like an hour or two in 
And that's my concern with Lubidoo, but it has a pleasant strawberry scent. Luberage is the one that when I was listing them off and the new ones that I forgot about, it is forgettable in my mind. Um, so this is, it's like a pe peppery, um, pink pepper. Um, it's supposed to be leathery. I don't really get a lot of the leather. Um, it's supposed to lean a little bit more masculine, I believe, although it is unisex. You know, smelling it now, I, I am picking up a little bit more of that leather. And it has a, a little bit more of a kick to it than Lubidoo. The projection and the longevity, though, were the similar to the rest of the Louboutins. But yeah, this is one of the more unisex. Um, it's a little basic. I guess that's my criticism across the board, is it feels pretty basic. It doesn't feel like it should cost $300 unless you really want the bottle. Um, I did match. I got uh, three. I matched three out of the four um, with Lou Barrage, but, you know, in smelling it, it didn't it didn't grab me. Lupa Crown is one that I matched on all four. And, yeah, I can see why. I did like this one. So Lupa Crown is like their woody patchouli scent. And um, it was also Brad, <laughs> the sales associate, um, or Brad, Brad representative for Louboutin's favorite. And I think that's because this one is also um, unisex leaning masculine. But what I liked about this one is it did have more projection and a, a stronger scent profile than a lot of the others that I tried. This one does last a bit longer. Um, it does have a little bit more uniqueness going on with it. I like the woodiness. I'm a patchouli fan, as you know. I like the patchouli in this. I think this one is a little bit more unique than the other ones that I tried and more unisex too. Um, you know, it's just not just a, a bland vanilla or a bland fruity scent. I think they, this one has a, a, a nice musky energy to it in a woody um, and has a nice dry down too. So this one was a maybe for me. It, this one and Lubidoo, I would say, are, are maybes, um, but it's really hard to pull the trigger on these because of the price. But um, I do like Lubicrown. If you um, haven't smelled it yet because it is new, I recommend that you give it a shot um, as far as my Louboutin rankings there. Um, I would say Louba Crown, um, Louba Dew, Louba Rouge are the ones that I would say, you know, give them a try, give them a smell. Um, but I do have one more to talk about and that is Louba Croc. I really wanted to like Louba Croc because I think it is the cutest bottle. I like the, the crocodile. <laughs> um, it is a amber musky scent. And it has that like a little bit of a shoey vibe to it too, like the Louba Rouge. I know I haven't mentioned that in this video, but Louba Rouge is one that I tried and said it has like a new shoe vibe to it. I could pick that up a little bit with Louba Croc too. It's not bad. It's not bad. I wanted to like it more. I'm not a big Amber fan, as you know, you know, that's hit or miss for me. Um, and, but I, and this one was like, when a crocodile on it, I wanted, I don't know, something, I can't even say femme fatale because it is a unisex scent, but you know, person fatale. I wanted something with some more edge to it, some more bite to it. And it's just sort of this very warm, musky, um, comforting scent that doesn't project, just like all the Louboutins. Okay, um, with this presentation, they also talked about some overpriced eyeshadow palettes. Um, they talked about the lipstick, which I actually am wearing. I put this on at about, seven this morning and I want to say it's like 10-ish now, 10, 10, 30. Um, I like the color. It lasts okay. It's it's like $90 American though. So for that price, um, unless I can find it on sale sometime, I don't think I'm going to be picking it up. I can spend a little bit more for a um, makeup piece if it really is a game changer for me or last longer. But you know, this one, if it was 40, I might swing for it. 90, no. Okay, so I didn't make a purchase. I didn't make a purchase yet. And I do have access, you know, with this, um, you know, there's some sales associate, there's some free gifts happening right now. So I'm kind of incentivized to make a purchase here, but I just, I really don't see it happening. Um, I just, I wish they were less expensive. If they were, so they were $300, these are $300 um, American. And I would say if they were even like 190, 200, for the bottle and for some of the ones that I like more than others, like Luby Do or Luby Crown, I think I could justify it, you know, have something from the brand, something from the house and have a pretty bottle for my display. Maybe it'll grow on me too if I have a sprayer versus a dabber. 
um, that might make a difference there. But just with it being $300, I just can't see myself pulling the trigger on it. They do have another launch happening right now of Intense. And if you take the quiz online, they, the Intense ones are included in the test results there. So maybe you'll get matched with one of those. I haven't tried those. Maybe that will make up for some of the concerns I have with the projection and the longevity. So I'm still open to experiencing the brand right now, but I'm just, I'm really not in the market, I think, for a $300 piece of beautiful art that doesn't smell that great. Uh, but that's cool. <laughs> that's the test. Um, please take it yourself. I'm interested in your results and what you match with. And if you have any of these, um, if did your test results match <laughs> what you got? I'm very interested. Um, but I'm, I'm just, again, grateful to my sales associate for sending this to me. Hopefully I won't be off the list and won't get to participate in more classes if I don't make a purchase here. Uh, but I really have to follow my gut on this one. That is all for a class. <laughs> if you like this video, please like it. Again, let me know in the comments what your test results were if you take it. Uh, if you enjoy fragrance content, blind buys, hauls, reviews, school, uh, please subscribe to Second is the Best. I upload whenever it strikes my fancy, which lately has been pretty often. That is all for this one. I will see you in the next one.